Get ready for the only sports show that gives you the edge. The Edge is brought to you by Rudo's Golf for all your golfing needs with two locations, West Ocean City and Rehoboth. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by Ocean Downs Racetrack, we set the pace. Now here's The Edge. Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of The Edge right here on the Resort Video Guide. I'm Tom Perlazzo, today my co-host Johnny Rudo. Tommy, good to see you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. And we got our, this you know, our Easter egg color yeah, a little on. Bright. A little I like that shirt. Ravens. Oh, oh, we're talking golf still. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Did you get that here? I got this at Rudo's Golf. A That's really nice place. Shirt. A lot of great shirts sitting in beautiful here. Shirt. I can tell you, if you're coming, you're down for Easter. This is the place to come. Definitely pop in. A lot of sales going on. I thought he'd take it easy on me if I said that today. <laughs> but anyway, hey, uh, uh, big golf tournament. Uh, Ernie's tournament. Uh, Ernie Els came back. Kind of rain delay thing. Uh, right. Uh, good event. He's playing well. Did I? Did I, I think I predicted him last weekend. I, I, I don't think winner. you predicted. I had two anything. picks. I, I think I predicted Ernie else. <laughs> you may have. But Ernie <laughs> is really uh, playing well. The biggest, two, I think, two important parts of the game has improved. Number one is putting. He, he's um, really worked a lot on his putting. And he's got the ball rolling, and then mentally, I think he's come a long way. You know, I think over the past few years, he's had some problems at home personally. Um, his son has autism, and he's been going through some struggles there. But I think he's back, um, and he's going to be one of the favorites going into Augusta in a couple of weeks. Well, you know, Johnny, over the years, you know, we've got to see Ernie play, and you know, he's his swing is still uh, it's silky butter. smooth. You know, it's, it's just uh, you know every guy's dream is to be able to swing with that kind of rhythm and tempo, and to be able to strike it like he did. You know, I've seen him in person. He's a big dude. I he's, mean, he is not a small guy. What is he like six three maybe he's six, six three, three six four? I mean, and he's kind of kind of puffed yeah, out. He yeah. got the forties weight on now, you know. Back in the, when he was twenty five, winning U.S. Opens, he was maybe one hundred eighty pounds. He looks like he's about two twenty, but he's he's playing well and he's, mentally he's in a, a good frame of mind. And uh, it's he's actually playing next week at Shell, which I think might be a mistake. He's he's you know when you're in the hunt week after week, it, it kind of takes takes its toll. I like to see him rest up before Augusta, but he's going to play. Um, well, so you're saying Ernie's, the, you know, by playing that event, he's not going to have a good chance to win it again. No, he's going to have a good chance. I just think mentally being competitive week in and week out, it wears on you. And, um, you know, if he wins, you know, it's just hard to continue look, to keep Look, you know winning. what's the real problem is in Augusta, you know, it's Tigers lurking. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's, he's lurking, lurking right. in the woods out there. He's already he's already traipsed up and down Augusta. My other boy, uh, Freddie Couples, is playing with him Freddie Monday. Couples Freddie, looks Freddie. terrific in that event. Hey, you know what? Can Freddie make the Ryder Cup this year? I think He's he like can three for four on the Champions Tour. Well, folks, that's all the time we have in the first half of the Edge. Hang with us. We'll be right back. Hey, amigos. It's time to go to La Hacienda. Yeehaw! Yeah, plenty of free parking here, too, eh? La Hacienda, Ocean City's favorite place for enchiladas, burritos, fajitas, and the best margaritas in town. So amigos, come join our fiesta. La Hacienda, 80th Street and Coastal Highway, Ocean City's best Mexican restaurant. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the second half of The Edge. You know, we left off talking a little golf, Johnny, but you know, there's another big event coming up Monday. Uh, you know, Saturday, Saturday Monday, Monday. Final Four, uh, right? Final Four and um, the boys in blue and gold. Now, I don't know about <laughs> the blue, but the boys in blue and gold. But, you know, I, I told them, hey, look out for West Virginia this year. Uh, then you play football for West Virginia? I did. You but didn't you play know, basketball, it's, did you? It's my alma mater. I know you're an athlete. Uh, yeah. yeah I, can I can hoop it. Don't worry uh -huh. about that. Now, my, not now. You know, I can I barely can. get up and down the court, but... <laughs> It's Back in the day, be, I don't know. It's it's all the big boys are gone except for Duke. I mean, Kansas Duke? lost. Who Duke? Duke. 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 <laughs> number one seed. The only number you know, one I'm, seed. I'm thanking God that uh, West Virginia's got Duke. You know, because they. I just don't think they're uh, they're and as good as they, Buff, they are. But Butler and Michigan State, which should have been Maryland. Uh, Michigan State beat Maryland, but uh, 